Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 in VirtualBox in Windows or Mac. So let's get started. First you will need these two files. The first one is VirtualBox of course and then second one Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit ISO. Uh, I will leave both of these files in the description below. So let's get started. So to install VirtualBox, double click on the VirtualBox installer in order to install it now click on the double click on the virtualbox.pkg and it will open up the installer click allow and click continue install and then enter your password hit enter after that and it and it will begin writing the files this will take about a minute as it says here but it isn't always really accurate it could take less than a minute or even 20 seconds 30 seconds a reboot a reboot is required on mac os big sur and onwards in order to be able to load and install load the installed kernel extensions so i'll just click on ok and i will come back after rebooting my macbook so i'll be right back after I reboot so I will pause the video here I have rebooted my Mac and it has booted so now I have closed the tabs that were open the windows that were open and if we go into the spotlight search icon and search virtual box we will see virtual box appear here so now we can hit enter after that and it will open up virtual box so this is you won't have these two virtual machines that I in these two virtual machines because these are virtual machines I created so I, I will delete the Windows 7 ultimate that I created before and because we are going to create a new one click new to create a new virtual machine and give it a name I'll give it Windows 7 ultimate and it will automatically select type as microsoft windows and version windows 7 64 bit if it isn't you can select it by going here here and click continue and give windows 7 some memory 2048 megabytes as it is here will be perfect but i have a bit of memory in my computer so i'll give it 4096 4 gigabytes but it doesn't really matter click continue click create click continue and click continue and give your hard disk some storage 32 gigabytes as it is here is perfect for windows 7 but i'll just give it 50 gigabytes because i have some free space in my computer again it doesn't really matter here click create to finalize that and go to settings because we need to modify some settings just click that settings icon there and let's go into system because we don't have anything to modify in this general step and in system uncheck the floppy option and move on to the processor tab and you can enable the PAE slash NX you can check that and then in acceleration you don't need to change anything here go into display and you can bump the video memory all the way up to 128 megabytes to make your video a lot smoother and if you like you can accelerate 3d graphics go into storage and click on this empty disk and click on this little disk icon and locate your windows 7 iso 64-bit iso file mine's in the desktop so i'll select it and click on open and it will open up the windows 7 iso i mean it will select choose the windows 7 iso and then click on ok to save the changes and now finally click on start to start the virtual machine my mac is really out of almost out of battery now it's in two percent 
so I need to charge this a bit more after this boot up screen I think yes I'll just plug in the power while installing so anyways I'll go into full screen mode and virtual screen one I'll scale it up 225% this is also small 275% here we go and this is good and once you have selected the language time and currency format keyboard or input method you can click next and then click on install now so it says setup is starting I don't know if this will proceed because my battery is really low now I think I have to plug in the power now there we go I plugged it in and then we can click on accept the license terms and click on next and then click on custom advanced and then it will select disk zero unallocated space the 50 gigabyte drive we created earlier and then click on next to install windows 7 in your virtual drive virtual hard drive so it will begin the installation this may take a few minutes and i will come right back once the installation has finished so i'll pause the video here so the install was very quick much much quicker than i expected and here it is windows 7 ultimate has been installed in virtualbox so this is the setup let's type in creeper tech for our name and click next this is just the basic setup of windows 7 so now let's type in a password and you need to retype it and you need to give a hint so i'll just give it creeper and click next and you need to enter your product key now so you can find the product key uh, in the web in, in by going to your web browser and looking up uh, searching windows free windows 7 product keys or you can buy product keys of windows 7 so after i have entered my product key i will come right back and i will pause the video here so i have entered my product key you could also skip the product key if you want or if you couldn't find a product key but anyways after that we can click on something from here i'll just uh, click on use recommended settings and you can set the time and things and click next and i'll click on home network And it's connecting to my network and applying settings it needs to and Windows is finalizing finalizing the settings so we here we are coming to the desktop of Windows 7 ultimate now we are here at the desktop finally we have installed windows 7 in virtualbox so this is how to install windows 7 in virtualbox if you have enjoyed the video or if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one